Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that red subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, if you would do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me at Miss Serenity underscore Smith. Also guys, if you want to um, follow me in the chat box, the link is in the description box if you don't see a join now next to the subscribe button it is a dollar and 99 cents to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old to join um all that is handled totally by youtube not by me so i don't have any access to any of your information blah 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 a lot of people i think do it through paypal as well so i have my babies here i don't know why I drew is looking blurry on this thing but anyway so I have the windows open and so that I can have some natural light I don't know I wonder if I open this window will it be too much light um okay no not really all right so anyway um so I have the windows open so you're kind of seeing them in natural light um I will go ahead and be the first to say there is definitely one shining star this baby just stands out for me um and i will never 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 discount his painting i am normally the most humble criticizing harsh person on my own work but i will say that luca is the most beautiful baby that i've ever painted just you know for me now Previous mommies, I you know, I don't like saying stuff like that sometimes because it's like, well, I think my baby is most beautiful. Well, you know, it's like there's levels, there's different, you know, time frames from where I'm at now, from where I was back when I first started painting. I think that I have learned a lot in between times. So I, I really feel like Luca is just really, really, he just came out to be a lot more than what I expected him to be. Um, I'll say that. But it's the craziest thing because guess what? Um, like I told you guys before, Luca is already, already have a new mommy um, and a new name, which I'm not gonna reveal. Um, but it doesn't change the fact that I absolutely love him. Um, in order for me to grow and continue to be able to support this habit I meant hobby <laughs> no I meant habit <laughs> I have to you know sell some keep some so um I do have a baby for to fill that spot um I'm just waiting for it to arrive so as far as um a kit and um so for now um that is that is what it is so okay so let's go down the list and i'm gonna tell you their sizes and well i don't even remember what uh look of size length is i think i got an idea i think i remember i think him and phoebe is 22 inches um he is the he is the fin sculpt by lillian breville um poured by claire Tella. And Phoebe is the Willow sculpt, sculpted by Claire Teller and poured by Claire Teller. And her sock is about to come off. Um, you guys can't see that though. Um, and Louisa, I could not remember her name for the life of me the other day, her sculpt name. Winter is the Louisa sculpt, um, sculpted by Lillian Breville, poured by Claire Teller. And then baby Andrew, you guys met him yesterday he is um, the um, Andrew Scope by Mesa Said, poured by Maria Grover. Um, so, yeah, these are my babies. And um, Andrew is 17 and a half inches, and Louisa is, I think, around 19 inches. Um, I think I love all their sizes. These are all like the perfect sizes for me. Um, I do really tend to cling more to the smaller size babies. 
Um, but I absolutely like to me, they're all still like, um, still in the newborn stage. So they, none of these babies would be over three months old. Like none of them. Um, probably maybe like two, two months or so. So those are the babies. This would have been my collection had I not sold Luca. <sighs> um, <laughs> Let me not take that deep side because the mommy will be watching me like, don't feel bad, like, or whatever. But anyway, he's he's on a layaway while I root. Um, He has still has work to be done to him. Not nothing major, just um, I need to finish his matting and his, and then root him. So um, after my n other project, he will get rooted next. Um... So I have one ahead of him and then I will root him and then it will be, I will probably root Louisa. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Yeah, I will probably root Louisa next. I still haven't decided on her hair. I know some aunties are saying, do red, do red, but I don't think I'm going to go with red on her. Um, red hair is one of those specialty colors. So it has to be, I don't know, I think... I have to be for certain and right now I've kind of like been bonding with Archie and I'm kind of liking him right now in my nursery so I don't really need another redhead so I think she will have some type of brown hair but I'm not sure um I don't know but I can't decide if it's curly or whatever but I have these babies here and I just I did want to just show them together um I no longer have any silicone babies that is uh, painted by um, someone else in my collection. And I'll tell you, at first it just, it was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I've downgraded. But then when I realized that the value in myself should be more than that to consider myself as a downgrade, I actually feel good about it. It's like, I have babies that are just solely painted by myself and I feel good about that um so not to say that I won't have one from somebody else later <laughs> just saying um and that's another thing like guys it's okay if your tastes kind of change or you decide you want to explore different things and stuff like that um but I don't think that that requires you to like step on somebody else or you know, be like, oh, they're garbage, you know, or I don't want nobody else work because ain't nobody better than me type thing. No, that's not the case. There's different circumstances as in why I collect more of my own babies than I do other people babies um, these days. And most of it is because of the financial reasons behind it. And other, other, the other thing is, is that I'm learning to paint and I want to be able to be so comfortable that I absolutely just love my own work. So there's reasons behind 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 why I don't um, collect other uh, babies as, this is irritating me that it's hanging there, um, that I, ha I have other babies in my um, collection. Um, beyond just being arrogant. But the, also the other thing I wanted to say is that these babies, and I'm gonna go ahead and move baby Luca. Now he, I, like I told you guys before, he has actually been in the um, real hospital baby bed <laughs> while he um, wait for, that's what I usually do when I have a baby waiting to be, um, worked on because I like for them you know I like to feel like I'm they're really in the the nursery they're really getting ready to undergo surgery so anyway this is what it's gonna look like guys for a while um as you guys know I told you I did some stuff to poor poor Phoebe I just I I be I had been guinea picking on her and you know you go back and you try to fix stuff and then you mess stuff up more and that's why I really don't like to bother with silicone more than once. Um, 
Um, it's like, it, it's crazy. I, I'm not going to keep talking about it. I, I need to get over it. Um, but I am going to move Phoebe as well. Well, I'll put, no. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to move her as well. Because I want to, so Phoebe is super mushy soft and I absolutely love that. Um, of course, it's always that dilemma like, oh, they're too soft. Real babies don't move like that. They don't have bones. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, they don't have bones. They don't have bones if they don't move. If they feel like they're stiff as a brick, they don't feel real to me either because, you know, that's just the way it is. So, I, um, you know, it's it's a preference. It's whatever you like. No need to trash the other people, you know, preference. It's just what it is. You know, if you like stiff, corpse-like, then I can like boneless, lifeless-like. You know, that's because that's what, you know, those are the, 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 the terms that people use. Um, now... Everybody, like I say, have their different preferences. There's things that I am very particular about. And I'm trying to get in here without um, getting in the camera, really, to be honest. Um, there are certain things that I'm very particular about. Like, y'all know I love hands and feet. And so, um, you know, picking out silicone babies is not easy it's not easy at all and we've talked about this before i feel like i can never find a baby that have everything that i want like not even close to everything because um either the baby is like super cute and doesn't have such a realistic realistic body or it has a really realistic body and it's not cute or it's too big or too small or <laughs> you know something it, it 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 doesn't have nice feet it doesn't have a nice bum you know um it, it's frowning too much um i don't like that it's awake i don't like that it's asleep like it's just like oh my god that's the perfect baby it's so cute i just wish it was sleep oh my god that's the perfect baby i just wish it was awake it's always like something i usually just for me a lot of times I just lately just been going off of what actually make me say, man, I wish that baby was in my collection because then I kind of have an idea. I'm trying to hope that I didn't get in the camera, but I love like I love Louisa's hands and feet. It's like some of my favorite things on her. Oh, baby, I moved you out the camera. Oh, my gosh. I'm so over myself. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys what she was wearing, but I'm just, I'm just all messed up. Okay, let me see. Let's see if we can focus in on what she's wearing. All right, so this little outfit I thought was so cute. I put her on this the other day. It's a new little outfit. And um, I just thought it was really cute. I can't wait till she have hair and can wear it. Oh gosh, I don't know. I just can't. I can't win right now. Look, now. <sighs> okay, fine. Hang on, guys. I got something for y'all. Let me get over here. Baby, I'll give you something that you can bear. Show off your feet. I don't like that her head is like so. I don't know. It was like too, it's like too back, too. Mm, and that's too far up. Okay, fine. All right. So anyway, I don't like when babies like sit up and they're like newborn. Cause that's not real but whatever for recording purposes we'll 
We'll see. We'll try to leave her. All right. So, <laughs> all right. I give up, guys. I'm going to have to come back. Uh, I don't feel that good anyway. <sighs> okay. Whew. Yeah, I'm going to just come back and uh, try this again. But, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that stuff later. Bye, guys.